Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I'm still testing out and working with the Sharon Williams HGTV Infinity base that I get at Lowe's. Last, uh, the last video I did, I did a painting where I mixed, I had some paints mixed with the Infinity and some paints mixed with, or the pigments mixed with Bare, and I wanted to see how they worked together and how compatible they were. And so now this video, today's video, and you can probably know where it's going, <laughs> I've actually combined the two. So uh, it's going to be Bare Infinity Josonia, similar to the pouring medium that I absolutely love, the Bare Glidden Josonia. I thought, well, you know, let's see what happens. And I know some of you don't like to have uh, titanium white in your base and the Glidden does have some it, it can mute your color if you don't put enough paint in it so this could be a good option as well and so I've been testing it a little bit and I wanted to show you how it worked I really liked the, what I was seeing so today's video I'm going to be testing out the Bare Infinity Josonia which I've mixed two, two parts of the Bear, one part of the Infinity, and then one part of the Joe Sonia. I was also asked to uh, do a mixing video on this new Infinity base, so that is coming. I'll probably be doing that one next, and I'll probably go over uh, the different varnishes you can use as well, but I'll be mixing up a couple of the mediums that you're seeing me use in the next video. So for now, let's go have some fun with this new uh, Bare Infinity base. For today's video, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna be using a six inch deep sided canvas. I need to practice on these. <laughs> I can't get paint to go all the way down the sides, although I do like the drip effect. I think it's pretty cool, but I'd like to have a, a nice layer. So I buy these at Michael's, I think they're, I don't know how much they are, but they're in a four pack. They're the staple back ones. Just, um, I use these just really to practice on. But that's what we're gonna be using today. And uh, the pillow I'm gonna be using is, I'm, I'm back at my favorite pillow, the the Glidden Premium Eggshell. I was able to get some more out in a in a canister. And when I say that I, uh, I ran out, usually what I like to do is, this is a, um, 32 ounce yogurt container and I repurpose it just uh, to hold a smaller amount of my pillow instead of having to go into my gallon every time which will create uh, will put air into it and will create bubbles so I like to put it into a smaller container and the colors I'm going to be using today you know what colors <laughs> my three favorite test colors and I promise this is the last for a while <laughs> But these three, the Atelier Interactive Red Gold, the Josonia Aqua, and then the Josonia Diaxazine Purple. And for these, I like to put some in the middle, but I also, I kind of like to go around and coat the sides with just a little bit of layer of paint in case uh, the drips that, that go down. Um... I'll at least have paint on there if it if I get the drippy effect. <laughs> the drippy effect. <laughs> you know what I mean. I don't know if any of you have more uh, more experience with these deep sided. If is there any tips or tricks that help getting the paint all the way over these sides? I know you got to use more paint, but still, <laughs> sometimes it doesn't work out the way I want it to. All right, that should be good. here whoops a little too much whoa not yet not yet let's pull you back in let's spread this out just a little there we go 
All right, I'm gonna insert this in there somewhere. Um, sometimes I have issues with my hand being in the way when I'm showing you the consistencies of the pouring medium or the paint. So I'm, I'm doing it separate and I'm gonna just add it in because I notice after I go back to edit, my hand always gets in the way and it's 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 actually this thumb because it's the way I hold things and, and how I can move it. It's focusing on my hand as opposed to my as opposed to what I'm trying to show you. And and I'm really sorry about that. I'm just I'm trying my best here, um, especially with how I grip things. Um, so I'm gonna try and do this left-handed, which I completely stink at because I am right-handed, but this this is the the Bare Infinity Joe Sonia pouring medium. This is the uh, the consistency of that, and then my three colors. I just wanted to show you really quick the uh, the orange, the purple, and the aqua. If I can get these to come up, also that's that consistency. It drizzles really nicely off the stick. All three of them do. This is a really nice nice consistency it is just a touch thick for the for the bear like I said when um, I was blowing it out but it still just produces beautiful cells but there's that blue one and then the purple it's this consistency so hopefully you can see that a little better all right Put a little bit more color on. Than I normally would just because this is a deep sided. I think that should be okay for the right of a lot of orange in there. It is a bit thicker than just using the infinity alone. But I know some some like the bear. The bear is super clear. Probably the, the clearest base I've ever used. <clears throat> but it's it's also really thick, so this is nice to to cut it a little bit. Or if you've found a good ratio uh, with the varnish, I haven't yet where it works for me using the bear alone. I always I have to mix it with something. should be good. I hope that's enough paint. We're going to find out. All right, for the cell activator, oops, let me move that out of the way. I'm going to be using my Amsterdam Oxide Black mixed four to one with the uh, Australian Floetrol. I've got some something on the side of this little piece of schmeh. All right. And I do notice <clears throat> when I was testing this on my test piece it does take a little bit more to blow out because of the bear. And, and I've always noticed that to be the case with the bear because it, it is a little bit thicker, but it does produce really nice cells.
Oop. That went down a little too far. Just trying to blow this out just a little bit more. I don't mind that it's empty space because I'm gonna put embellishments in there. I just wanted it a little bit more um, round <laughs> as opposed to in out in out with the way the petals how it's blown out. I wanted to get more of the um, the stripiness of the paint gone. <laughs> trying to talk and blow my paint out at the same time. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Now let's modify this. I had to turn my overhead light off. Uh, I was getting a I was getting a glare on there when I use my other station. I don't get so much of a glare. But that is pretty dirty from Oh, I need another stick. Hang on one second. My other station is a bit dirty with a lot of paint. I was doing a bigger canvas yesterday. Over there. Alrighty. Got a couple of white spots I want to get out. Mm, what do I want to do with this? I don't know if you can see already. It's just that bare. It just makes things super crisp and clear. I just love that. Even even if it's just showing color, not even cells, it's just it's just gorgeous. All right. Let's Like I almost want to leave just the gradations of color in here. I almost just want to leave that and then all these little cells on the side. I just love that. I don't mind beautiful color. I don't need to have my paintings filled just with cells. I, I'm really, I'm a color girl too. Color and movement. break some of this up just a little bit it'll go off most of it will go off the sides anyways but I just want to give it something instead of just color stripes That's that. All right. I think we're good. I'll meet you over at the spinner box. I'm just going to add just a touch more pillow on these corners just so everything goes over nicely. And I have at least white paint on the sides in between the drips if that decides to happen. But I'm going to... I think I'm going to spin just a little bit slower to see if that helps. Gosh, this is just really pretty. There's that. All right. Gosh, those colors. Woo! Here we go. Oh, 
that's probably about the slowest I've ever. <laughs> I love, I, I know I whip it, but you know, it's going over kind of nice. All right, let's just do this nice and slow. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Just a little. I think I want to spin. I don't mind that that corner is white. This really is kind of a test piece. I'm just, well, I'm showing you this pouring medium, but I'm also testing this canvas just to see how it goes over. Boy, oh boy, I am really liking this. Still a little movement in the center, but I think it's going to be okay. Maybe just one more little baby spin this way. Yeah, that's perfect. I love all the movement in here and the colors. Ugh. When I show you the flyover, you'll be able to see uh, a little bit better but I am going to call this done well, looks like a lot of my edges from going slower I've got the drip effect on a couple of sides but some sides are actually fully covered that's exciting <laughs> so if you're a spinner maybe spin slower there's that one. I'm going to get cleaned up and I'm going to bring you over for the flyover. Here's the flyover of that piece. Actually, first I want to show you how nicely it went over the edges. I still got a little bit of drip over there, but I don't mind that. I can fix that. That one went over really nice. The one on the back went over nice as well. But here's the fly over just look at the the color I mean just it's just gorgeous I mean the infinity makes it really clear and vibrant but that bear just takes it one step further at least I feel it does so this is just I am absolutely pleased with this piece all right, I'm gonna let this dry and I will be back to show you the dried results in a little bit. And I'm back to show you the dried results of the piece you just saw me uh, make. And I am, I'm in awe. <laughs> it dried beautifully and I, I am just, I'm almost speechless, so yeah. <laughs> it dried absolutely beautiful. And if you can see the colors are super vibrant even when it's dry. And this here in the middle, this is the the cell activator. I had added on a little bit more and this is what happens. I don't mind that it's, it's a little bit more three-dimensional. I don't mind that that's not actually cracking. It's just the difference between the pouring medium and the cell activator. But, and this, this was just poured as you saw me do it. And it's just, it's, not even 24 hours that it's dried and look at how glossy it is that's from the bear i mean it's just gorgeous and the sides turned out really nice too they ran over nicely and they dried nicely i didn't get the so much the drips i have a little bit here but i don't mind i don't mind that effect at all it's just gorgeous I can't gush enough about this infinity and this this test and this piece just proved that it's very versatile I think it you can use just about any varnish the Josonia the um, Minwax the one coat the um, what am I missing <laughs> the Varathane <laughs> any of those uh, they all work with this with this infinity so I I can't recommend it enough and I am going to continue to use it but this combo the bear infinity combo if 
you were a little hesitant about my bare glidden combo because of the titanium white and the glidden this might be a better option for you because it just dries super clear and crisp so my next video in this infinity saga i will be going ahead and mixing up a couple of pouring mediums and talking more about that in detail so i hope you really found that these these videos on the infinity helpful please like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time thanks so much for watching